Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies coming to you with Jameson's Black Barrel Reserve. And a big thing, what is this? It's a box and it says, test it. Has a little handwritten test it on it. Boom. He opened, back. Yeah, he opened the box, had to kind of build this or we would have just pulled it out. It took it take it took a minute to get set up, get assembled. Dogs. And there's the chupacabra. Chupacabra the, uh, excited. Kubo Kubacon. Kubacon. <laughs> Alright, so what is this? I know what this is, but tell the folks what this All right. is. Um folks. probably about the same time we got started on Twitter, we friended, followed um, Scotch Trooper. Boom, who has his great avatar, if I remember right, wasn't it almost like a guy in a suit but with a Stormtrooper helmet or something? Yes, that's him. Right, my yeah. dog's killing me. Sorry, yeah. keep going. We're pressing on. We're pressing um, on. Anyway, Scotch Trooper started making lamps, which is what this is. Right. Um, and I sent him this bottle. This is the Kaolila bottle from our 100th episode. Now do me a favor when, because you're editing this one, if you could take some stills, mm -hmm. like, because you said yeah. how neat it glows at mm -hmm. night right. and stuff. Yeah. I think it'll show up better on your phone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway, um, I sent him the bottle. This was from our 100th episode of Kaolila and had him make the lamp for us with it. Let me turn that um, on. And then the daytime here with the lights on, it doesn't do it justice. Right. At nighttime, this is such a beautiful lamp. Uh, it puts off such a warm glow. And that's probably going to depend on your glass, uh, the bottle that you used to. And, of course, the Kalila bottle is kind of a greenish mm, tint. Brown, almost like brown, a brown, brownish green brownish tint. tint. So at, at night on the desk, this is just going to be beautiful. Right. Now, what Bart doesn't know was oh. I bought this for him. This what? is a gift for Bart. You're shocking me tw like <laughs> twice. Well, you got the bar. The bar was finished, and it's nice. And I thought he needs a Scotch Trooper lamp to put on his bar. Tear came down. <laughs> wow. We'll get um, we'll get um, Scotch Trooper though. We'll get your permission if you want. We'll put some of your photos that you've taken. What Scotch Trooper does? He loves Scotch. He loves Star Wars. Mm -hmm. He takes pictures of stormtroopers with different Scotch bottles. Yes. Put puts them out on uh, Instagram and Twitter, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll get with you. He's Scotch a kindred and, spirit of ours. Yeah, we've right. we've had quite a bit. We've never met him. Right. We've had a lot of interaction with Scotch. Mm -hmm. Virtually kindred yeah. spirit. We call him Scotch. We call or him Troop. Trooper. I like Troop. I just short it. Like we're so we know I know him so well. I'm like Troop <laughs> <laughs> I can see if we when we do meet up with him it'll be like at a bar, a motel, or you know, the airport or something. We'll be like Trooper Troop And everybody's gonna be like Yeah, they'll be like, Whoa, hey, long lost buddies. And we'll be uh, like, Yeah, kinda what a highway trooper? Yeah, trooper Yeah, trooper. yeah, yeah. There'll be some drunk like what? Yeah. Where? Yeah, take off running. Some guy with a warrant busting out the back. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go. Oh, I'm out of troopers here. here. Man, state troopers are in the house. <laughs> Um, anyway, though, go to um, scotchtrooper.com. Um, he's got um, he's making lamps. He's got several different styles of lamps. They're all beautiful. Um, good luck to, to Trooper. Yeah. Um, this is a, a beautiful lamp, and it's made out. It's heavy duty uh, lamp, also. And what he does is he's used this is the cork, the stopper yeah, from okay. the bottle that is the switch. Uh, for the light. So. Nice, nice touch. Yeah. All right, so we're doing the Jamesons. We'll get into the review here. Now, this is a little bit special, too, uh, because what had happened is we had... I, this kind of started when a fellow went by our local liquor store that we frequent, and he had a bottle for us, and he said, can you get this to the Scotch Test Dummies? We mentioned it. Um here. That is quite a bit. Hold on, we'll share it up. And then uh, what happened was some other people said, you know what? We want to send you a bottle. We want you to sponsor, like I want you to sponsor my favorite bottle, Jameson's Black Barrel. And we would tell people, hey, it's on our list. Sounds, we would love to review it. But to be quite honest, we're about 25 bottles out. So when we buy a new bottle, you may see that reviewed in eight months. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And so what happened? It, well, it, yeah, the thing is, if we get a special edition whiskey that comes out, or if it's, it's kind of a, 
a limited edition or it's something right. new to the market, we'll, we'll push that to, to the, the front to the front of the line. So we've had stuff but linger on the list got, for 15 months, really. Yeah, well, Just, actually, and Lagavulin 16 sat there for quite a while. Which, yeah, it did. So did the uh, Kubokan, the Tibetan right. Kubokan. Because other stuff came in. So what happened? What happened? With what this mean? one? Yeah. We pushed it up. You well, buy us a bottle? Yeah. So this guy says... Well, this is Raster. Right. Raster. And you Raster. can check most of our videos. Great he, comments, he, Raster. He Engineer. communicates with us quite a bit. Right. Isn't yeah. Raster the one that wants us to to experiment on a special episode where we put like actual sherry into some whiskey? No. No, uh, that wasn't Raster? No, that's... That was um, Raster. That Sorry, might be Bush, Bush Mills Rare. Okay. All right. I, think. I thought that was Raster. But, so Raster actually contacted our local liquor store... Mm -hmm. And then pay for something with his credit card and, yep. and then let you know, go pick it up. Yep. It's at the store. He actually bought us two bottles, so we'll be doing the other one coming up. But yeah. the Jameson's and, and Black And what did that do? One. You do that, your bottle that you want us to review moves to the top of the list because mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to review it. Well, well, yeah, we'll get it out quicker than we do right. most of the others. But So, Raster, thank you. Thank you, Raster. And uh, I got to tell you, I do have my notes on this, and I, I just love keep the notes at the light. on it. Yeah, the, the light the is lamp. good. You know what I get on this? I get a I musky, get... warm clove. I got my notes down here this time. And I get uh, a little hint of ginger, but it, it warms me. The nose warms mm -hmm. me. Yeah. It's a very aromatic nose. Mm -hmm. A great nose. Um, I get a little bit of a sherry hint to it. Um, some bourbon notes as well, the vanilla and the oak. Have you seen La Femme Nikita, the actual French version with English subtitles? Yes. All right. A long time ago. This, this or it's been a while. The musky, warm smell of this reminds me of like that sexy French assassin woman. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I know I'm down a trail, but I'm just telling you when I smell it. It's warm, it's musky, it's like a little dangerous. Hmm. You're kind of mocking me with smirk there. No, you got a little smirk. It's a good, I don't know how you came up with that. I, I, when I smell it, it comes in. It smells, I literally got on here musky, warm, clove, ginger. Now, what was the American movie that was uh, the American version of it that I was know. made? I didn't like it as much because it had what's her name in it. Uh, I don't even want to remember. Bridget Fonda. Bam. And it just didn't pull it off. Point of no return. Yeah, they should have stuck with La Femme Nikita. Because somebody told me, hey, that's a good movie, but you got to see the actual French version. I watched the French version 20 times better. Mm. 20. Same deal with, uh, what is it, uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo? I Never just watched it. Up. Oh, my God, you got to watch it. Mm. But watch the actual. I heard it wasn't. Oh, please. Well, I heard the, like most, though, I heard the book. It, it didn't do the book justice. Sure, did it? yeah. Nothing does books justice. Oh, so it didn't. Well, I haven't read the book, but oh. I'm just telling you as an avid reader. Um, anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> See, where we go? Yeah, what's your, you got I worked. Nose? I worked in a, in a movie theater and a video rental store when I was in high school. And so I kind of have, I, I just remember some movie trivia stuff. And, and You're way beyond that. You quote things. stuff like, I'm like, how do so, you even know that? All right, you're getting ready to go to taste. Mm. I'll let you do taste first. Because the taster was impressive to me. Mm. Uh, very sweet, a uh, little bit of maltiness going on. Mm -hmm. I still get a little bit of a sherry note. Right there, I'm sweet not going coconut. Here. You said. <laughs> mm. It's ah. very creamy. Yes. Sorry, <laughs> I'll let you finish your notes. Mm. I'm like, uh, you're like a preacher. I'm like, well, I preach it. Mm -hmm. Say it. Are you you done? You want? Can I come in? Yeah, I go got ahead. sweet. Like when he said sweet, it's right on. You want to drop of water while I'm doing this? Yeah. Well, I, I guess got a man, it's delicious got a man without it. It is. And it is 40%. Uh, if you don't know, Jameson's also is Irish. Right. Um, and I believe it's the top selling biggest Irish. It is. They're huge. They stayed alive when everybody else was just drinking Bailey's Irish cream. Mm. Uh, Jameson stayed around. I got sweet coconut right off the bat. You get the sweetness, that coconut rounded feel. It moves into this caramel. And I've got the uh, a coated mouth feel, light and soft, and then there's just a bit of that alcohol sting, which I was surprised at 40% ABV, hmm. because it brings all that together. It does not taste diluted, 
Sometimes when they're at 40%, I'm like, ah, I wish it was 43, I wish it was 46. You know I favor cast strengths. Yeah. But this this tastes great at 40%. Yeah, I agree. Now, and, and since we got a comparison from you, this actually reminds me of The Unforgiven, where Clint Eastwood strolls into the bar. And he's, he's like, mad because they got his who friend. owns this establishment? Mm -hmm. That's right. When I drink this, that's what I think. Really? Mm. I get Nikita. <laughs> <laughs> With water. By the way, somebody re somebody mentioned um, that we threw water in something on one of our drinks first. We always test early on we would just open the bottle fresh and it was our first experience mm -hmm. which is somewhat good but we definitely felt as we continued with the show we needed to spend a lot more time with it so we'll pass the bottles back and forth test it make our notes um and we will then write them down and then retaste it here so when we test we'll go neat we'll go a touch of water sometimes even a little bit of ice or more water mm -hmm. With water, I add that uh, um, uh, may, the nose gave me a little bit of nutmeg, and it didn't really change the nose too much, but on the taste, I got fruity water. You know, almost like when you get those waters now where they've got all that fruit sitting right in there, and mm -hmm. it's just really nice. I got a little bit of that, and then again, that caramel aftertaste was mm -hmm. just delicious. A little bit of bourbon notes probably from... I would imagine prior filled bourbon casks. Mm. Um, a little bit of vanilla. I get you said ginger, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I get a little bit of ginger as well. Mm. Um, water to me didn't change it that much. It's still. I got a little uh, bit more of the caramel. Did you? Yeah. When I and the, the nuttiness, I would agree, also is mm -hmm. present. Mm. Delicious. Big, big fan. Um, you know what I'd like to do? We're, sooner or later, we're going to have to get a few Jamesons so we can actually do a, a shootout with them. Sure. Because memory goes back. We've had the regular Jamesons, didn't we? No, we've had the Caskmates. We had that. Yeah, Caskmates is the only one we've Big done. fan of the Caskmates. Mm -hmm. So I want to I move into several of these other Jamesons and then do our little shootout where we got the whole family there and we kind of worked through them. Um, is it worth it? Sorry, no, you right? Score it. You're right. You we got to score, score it. it before we go into is it worth it. <laughs> My fault. My fault. Hmm. My score, I'm waiting. My score is a 90. I really like this. Yeah, that's really high for me. Um, but I like the sweetness. Um, and the nose was just so, like you said, aromatic. What did you put at? 88. 88. All right, I'm higher than you on this. Yeah. This it's, it's good. Well, I like it. This and would be something I would keep on the shelf as as sure. always having. And Raster said it was one of his favorites or mm. one of his go tos. Mm -hmm. So um, now is it worth it? Thirty six dollars. Definitely. 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 Yes. I when you wrote up because I didn't know how much it had been because you picked it up, and when I was actually afraid it was going to be a little more expensive. But at thirty six dollars, this is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. This is great. Um, I'm always a little worried when I see that 40% ABV just because I know my, my palate tends to be want stronger, higher ABVs. This is great. This works well at 40%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree so, too. Definitely. And they, yeah, and I, I've even gotten to where sometimes 40, I, I like them a little bit stronger too. And the 40%, 40 mm -hmm. sometimes leaves me wanting more Right. and not with this one. Yes, I agree with you 100%. Delicious. You know what? I'm thrilled that Raster allowed us to test it. That's the intro. I know. I oh. threw it in there. I want to. <laughs> you buy me stuff and surprise me with dumping stuff. The only way I ever scotch. Now I said scotch. The only way I ever surprise you is when I throw weird things now, in there. I I have to admit though, <laughs> um, I had all intentions of this being your gift, and when I got it and put it together at home at nighttime, and I had it sitting there on the bar top when I was working on my computer, right. I wanted to keep it. You can still keep it. I'm gonna. Ha I'm gonna. I'll have to get another bottle. You might. I'm, I may. No, I, you know what? I was thinking. I was surely thinking this was yours. I was thinking I may have to buy this with the Lafroig. Ah. Uh, but I'm not I, sure how dark the Lafroig glass yeah. is. And I think even the Lagavulin bottles would be uh, gorgeous with it too. Anything with a tint. Yeah. Which I was. I. You know. And I told them. Well, I've got another bottle or two in mind um, of having, you know, lamps made from, but they're clear. 
but I like, I sure like the tinted mm -hmm. glass. I think, uh, I think we have this on in the evening. It, I think it's oh, gonna, it's that warm beckoning, like yes. come here, mm -hmm. come sit near me. Yes. And then it's got this industrial feel, so mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. In other words, scotch it, you scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.